Fox Nomad, and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you all the reasons thousands and thousands of you voted Granada, Spain, the best city to visit in 2018. A day trip for most people going from Cordoba to Seville, they miss the best parts. Tapas. Drinks. Tapas. Drinks. Wait, what? In Granada, you get a tapa, you get a drink as a gift. In Granada, if you get a drink, you get a tapa as a gift. It's two euros at most, and it doesn't make any sense. And that's the best part. So you invite some of your friends, say you'll be there at 8, they show up at 9, and you're ready to go. You eat, you drink. You eat, you drink. You wonder, how does this work? 20% of the people are unemployed, but everybody looks happy, and the three people you asked didn't have a really good answer anyway. So you keep having more. Tapas, drinks, tapas, drinks. You do this until you start to notice the sun coming up, and then everybody goes to sleep. People wake up, go to work at 10, have a breakfast of churros dipped in hot chocolate, swing by the Cartuja Monastery and check out these incredible sculptures, swing by the Science Museum to talk to a robot and sit next to Einstein, and now you're starting to feel like it might be time for a nap. And the city agrees with you. The stores start shutting down, closing their doors, it's siesta time. From 4 to 7, everything is closed, so you decide to take a 20 minute nap. But first you get some food to go, head home, or get to your hotel, and enjoy the siesta. You wake up just in time to get to chill out Monasterio Cafe and watch the sun Sunset, then you call your friends for more tapas at Botanico. Maybe the mayor shows up. One tapa, one drink. One tapa, one drink. You still don't understand how any of it works. You ask a few people. They don't know, but everybody looks happy. After your first set of tapas, you decide you want to see some music. So you go into a cave and watch live flamenco by a family that's been doing this for over 50 years. You watch all the day trippers leaving the Alhambra, getting back into their buses, going to Seville. They could probably spit out some facts like this part of Spain was under Moorish rule for 800 years. 300 years longer than it's been under Spanish rule. You know they're missing the best part of the city and you haven't even seen the Alhambra yet. They don't have that smile. They don't leave with those stories. Those are the people that tell you that Granada is not worth visiting. Those are the people that tell you Granada is just a day trip. By now you're hungry again. You've been doing this over and over and somehow you're not 300 kilos yet. Maybe it's all the walking or maybe the siesta has something to do with it. How is this wine so good and so cheap? How is everybody affording this? Does it really matter? It's a great system and you wonder why isn't everybody doing this? In the end you realize you can't explain Granada you don't know how it works, nobody seems to know how it works, and you don't really need to know how it works. You just know that it works. And you know when you're here, you're happy. And you know when you're here, everybody else around you seems happy too. You know that you'd like to spend more time here, and that in one day you would have missed all of this. You talk about this with your friends over more drinks and more tapas, and you say, I should probably make a video about that. So you do. This is Granada. This is why you voted Granada the best city to visit in 2018. Where will you send me in 2019?